Hey guys, what is up? TI84 Calculus here, back at it again with another tutorial. Today, we're going to be taking a look at putting Game Boy games on the TI84 Plus CE calculator. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download the ROM file for the game that you want to play. A good place to grab these is romsmania.com. Once you load up the site, just type in the game that you want to play and hit enter. So once you load the list, be sure to only click on games that are designed for the Game Boy, not the Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color as these are not supported. Once you've double checked that, click on the game's name. You have to be careful here again because the download button will download a file for your computer, which is not what you want. Instead, click more options and then browser download. Once the file downloads, open it up and drag the file onto your desktop. Now go ahead and pause this video so you can click the link in the description to download the actual emulator. Once the page loads, click on the file in bold, not the source code files. For me, it is TI Boy CE Alpha V 0.1.1, but there may be a newer version released by the time you are watching this video. Once it downloads, open it up and drag the file called tiboyce-romgen.exe onto your desktop. One important thing to mention is that this program will only work for Windows computers. If you have a Mac, I'll leave a link to another ROM converter website you can use. Now drag your ROM file on top of the tiboyce-romgen.exe file you just put on your desktop. This program will convert the ROM into a calculator-friendly format. A console window will pop up asking you to type in a title. You can type pretty much whatever you want here. This is how the game will be named on your calculator. Press enter once you have typed it in. Next, it will ask you how it should save these files. If you have a TI-84 Plus CE calculator, type 3 and then hit enter. If you have a TI-83 Premium CE, type 2 and then enter. Next, it will ask you for an output prefix name. It really doesn't matter what you type here, just make sure it is under 5 characters. Press enter. This is what the converted file will be called when it is saved to your desktop. Once the program finishes, you can close the command prompt window. Now, open TI Connect CE, click Calculator Explorer, plug in your calculator using the charging cable, and turn on your calculator. Drag in the converted ROM file that should have appeared on your desktop after running the conversion program. Send it to your calculator. Finally, open back up the file that you downloaded and send these three files to your calculator as well. These files are the actual emulator program that will run the ROM files on your calculator. Now open up your calculator, click the program button, and select the TI Boy CE program from the menu. Press enter again to run it. If your calculator doesn't show this screen, and instead gives you error syntax or error archived, you need to update your calculator's operating system. This can be done by downloading the calculator operating system file in the description below and by sending it to your calculator using TI Connect CE. From this screen, you can choose which game you want to play and selecting it by clicking enter. To change the emulator options, just press the clear button. From here, you can change the settings or exit the program. Under graphics options, you can change the look of the game. You can change any settings by pressing the right or left arrow keys. Under Control Options, you can change the controls of the game by selecting an option, pressing Enter, and then clicking on the key you want to use for that particular Game Boy button. Under Emulation Options, you can control whether or not autosave is on, turbo mode, and other time-related settings. Finally, you can exit the program here by selecting Exit TI Boy CE, or by pressing the On key anywhere inside of the program. If you would like more details about how to use and operate this program, you can read the readme.html file inside of the file you downloaded. Alright, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. If this video helped you out, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. I am TID4CalQuiz, and I will see you in the next video.